I don't think that I was completely fair to this ship the last time I played it. Now, I haven't played this thing in a while, to be fair. But the my first impressions of this ship is just like, why would you play this over a gearing, right? And I think the issue that I was getting was I tried too hard to play it like a gearing. And what I mean by that is this ship is not... Despite being the uh, tier 11 of the line, uh, right above gearing, it is. Do it really doesn't play like the gearing, like you might expect. Like, Delny uh, plays similar to Zorky, right? But the. And also, Yamagiri plays similarly to uh, Shimakaze. But the Humphreys is really interesting in it that it. It really doesn't play like play like the gearing because it's a lot more gun focus. Which uh, if you look, well, no, you don't actually see it uh, on here. But these guns have more Sherman-like characteristics than gearing characteristics. They're flatter arc shells that have a shorter travel time at the same range compared to uh, gearing shells. So this ship is a lot more gun focused, but it uh, it also does still have gearing torpedoes, but at the cost, it's a bit bigger uh, and it handles slightly worse, I, I believe. I don't know the exact numbers behind it, but it I don't think it's it handles quite as well as gearing. In terms of turning circle. And yeah this rudder shift is also not uh, super super fast. So. Uh, it's really interesting. But I think that's the really the biggest thing that I've been getting wrong with this ship. The last few times I played it. It's sort of a bit of a weird mix. Between a Sherman and a, uh, and a, sh and a gearing. So, we're going to see how we do this round. I'm going to start this one off by uh, clapping a Smolensk. Maybe, not really. Uh, let's see, matchmaking threats to my ship. There's only one radar, which is good for me. Uh, Yamagiri, Hayate, Holland, and Fletcher for destroyer threats. Thrasher, no... Uh, no carrier is always nice. Holland was spotted up uh, in the vicinity of B. I'm not being RPF'd right now. And I'm expecting this Columbo he's going to want to turn out at some point. No, he's just sitting in reverse. Alright, here we go. I'm dark because no one else has a line of sight with me right now. The Hayate and the Fletcher are both behind islands. So they're not able to spot me. Fletcher's turning around. Those look like... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Those are Fletcher Torps. Do, do, do. Don't mind me. While I fucking shoot a goddamn rock. No aiming bugs in this game, by the way. Fire is not sticking. He repaired that single fire. Uh, 
Smolensk fucked off. I believe, I want to say that's probably the Holland over there in, uh, in B. And there's the, uh, Hayate. I want to try and... S no, I th the Shimakaze already smoked up. Although, I could try and, uh... I want to try and set up a trap for one of the... One or even both of these destroyers. I will have to be torpedo wary, though. I'm just going to... Speaking of torps, I'm just going to put some Make-A-Wish torps out in that direction towards the uh, Columbo. But uh, I want to get into a position where I control one of these destroyers into shooting at me so I can smoke up and then they would be spotted either by the uh, Shima or the Yamato. But both of those guys are fucking right off, which is not ideal. So it looks like it's going to be me picking a straight one-on-one -on -one fight with one of these destroyers. And it's looking like it's probably going to be the Hayate at this point in time. I don't... If both of them pop up in the same spot, I'm going to have to smoke up. Yeah. And, of course, they are not detected. Because the Shimakaze done fucked off. Oh, wow, that Columbo actually managed to eat a bunch of those. Now I'm just going to have to use the smoke and disengage, head back towards my friendly Yamato, and, uh, and go from there. These two destroyers, the Fletcher and the Yamagiri, have played pretty well uh, in terms of sticking together and picking advantageous fights for them because like I was talking about a few seconds ago I can fairly pretty confidently fight one of them in a uh, in a direct one-on-one -on -one, but not both and I'm just gonna put torps out in my own smoke All right, one of them is in uh, is in C right now, and of course the Yamato got dev struck. This is not a very advantageous position for me being bow on here. On the bright side, I know at least one of them is in C, so if I face check one of them right here. It's only going to be that one. Uh, Des Moines Ray. That's a fucking spotter plane, Des Moines. Are you kidding me? God fucking damn. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it's going to be. Tactically, we are triple capped right now, which is not ideal, but, uh, we are even on kills at least, although they still have all of their destroyers and their submarine, whereas we only have our destroyers. Yamagiri is the potential to go down. The submarine also has the very likely potential to go down here. Yet, yeah, there he goes. And this Des Moines is getting farmed by the Smolensk that he can't see. Because he's a fucking spotter plane Des Moines and can't radar the DDs that are spotting him. 
So, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, I might be having the Holland here to deal with as well. Which would just be absolutely grand. I am... Uh, hmm. Let's see here. Holland is that way. I honestly think that... Okay, no, the Hiate is pushed out like that. And the Holland is in B, so it means I definitely don't have to worry about him right now. We are ahead on ships right now. Uh, Z-52 should be able to get into a, a here pretty comfortably. I still have two destroyers I'm going to have to deal with here. Which is not an ideal situation, so I'm just going to put Torps out in a make-a-wish direction. They're not, they're probably not going to hit, but they're the best I can, uh, I can reasonably do. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to wrap around and try to, uh, and try and get into a position where they're going to, these two destroyers, the Fletcher and the, uh, Hayata are definitely both gonna be gunning towards C right now. So what I want to do is I just want to get off to the side, let them have C, because we're turn we're ticking A and B right now. We we're definitely going to get A. We're at very least stalling B right now. So I am okay with letting them have C for a little while. And from there, uh, they're going to... Head up, probably run up towards uh, towards B, to where the rest of our ships are, and once they do that, I can either push up behind them and get behind them, or I can just straight back cap C as soon as they leave it. But if only one of them comes back towards C, I can pos potentially. Hmm. That is okay. That's a two. Sh that's a two ship cap right there. So both of them are in C. So I cannot fight both of them. I can't fight both of them, but I can maybe blind torp one of them. The reason I made, I was able to tell uh, that that was a double cap was you saw the little indicator that said that number, I think it was like 46 or 47, something like that, that said uh, how much time was left on the cap. You, We suddenly saw it jump from like the 40s all the way down to the 30, low 30s. And it was like, went from like 45 down to 32. As soon as I saw that, that tells me that they're capping at twice the normal rate, which tells me that there's at least two ships in the cap. So that's how I know I'm not I wasn't able to pick a fight with which, whatever was in the cap there. Uh doesn't look like those torps are gonna hit anything. Our ships over in B are getting worryingly low. Uh, Z-52 is low. Petro is low. But then again, most of their ships are kind of low as well. Okay, there goes the Holland. That's very, very good. Um, let's see. Is C contested? No, it's not. So, those two destroyers... Uh, think I was gone. But yeah, they, they just straight took the shortest route. So now that I can back cap C from right behind them, these guys aren't even in a clan or a div, and they've stuck to each other like hot glue. 
So honestly, uh, I say good on them. Because they've played this fairly solid up to this point. They've stuck together. They've picked fights that were good for them. So, honestly, good for them. Petro does not have any radar. Does not have any heals. And he's being perma-spotted, so... Not the most ideal of uh, circumstances to be in. There's go there went the Petro. In order to win this game, we're going to have to kill these destroyers. But our Z-52 is low. Our Vermont is, well, a Vermont. I'm half health at a, and I'm pretty much by myself against three destroyers, which is not ideal. Our Vermont just needs to stay alive, is what he has to do here. They're probably going to be... Uh, they're either going to be wolf packing in B still, or they're, uh, they're just wrapping around and heading back to C. Which, if they're heading back to C, I'm okay with that, because I'm about to step into B here. But... Uh... Okay. I'm not going to chase after that Yamagiri. Now they're on one cap. But I am in... Oh shit, it's contested. Okay. I do know that they are fairly low health, though. Uh, okay. They're no longer in the cap. out like that. Let's see. And I'm getting shit talked. Nice. fuck was that? That was not a double strike, by the way. And there we go. We technically don't even have to, uh, oh shit. There's the Vermont. I honestly, uh, forgot he existed. To be totally honest. A 
though. Honestly, we could still just let them have have A, and we still have a points lead, and we'll have two caps. So. Uh, yeah, we got this. Get the hell back. All the fucking uh, 52 has to do now is run the hell away. All I have to do now is run the hell away. And we're good to go. So, even if even if the fucking Z52 were to die right now, I think we have enough points that we'll uh, we'll be okay. So that was a little bit closer than it needed to be. Uh, as you saw it here first, that I contributed absolutely nothing to this game, as per the enemy Hayate, but. Uh, that is going to be enough for today. <laughs> Honestly, uh, credit where it's due, this Fletcher and the Hayate, they stuck together pretty well, and they wolf packed pretty well. Uh, I was able, I could have taken on one of them in a gunfight, but not both, so, uh, they did pretty good together, even for not being in a div or anything, so, good on them for the most part, but that is going to be enough for today. I will see you tomorrow.